Hello. Last week we were all about the Medicaid sitting across the eastern side of the Mediterranean, bringing stormy weather. The remnants of that now continuing to die away as it slides further north into the continent. This week we're going to be all about the Genoa Low, though, which is going to develop uh, across the southeast of France and extend down into Italy in the next 24 to 48 hours. Some strong winds, particularly affecting uh, the south of France, the northeast of Spain and the Balearics, potentially causing some disruption here. Much quieter further east as we look at the week ahead. Here's that low on Tuesday, just sliding further south into the centre of the Med, taking the wettest weather with it. But the winds will still be an issue, even if things are looking uh, dry and relatively bright across the southeast of Spain and the south of France. Wet and windy weather, courtesy of low pressure on its way into Norway on Tuesday. Maybe even something a little bit more wintry as well. Perhaps some of the first significant snowfall of this year as that low pushes through before then rolling its way further eastwards, heading towards western Russia late Wednesday on into Thursday. So here's a quick look at the outlook. For London and Paris, we're set largely fair in the coming days and temperatures recovering a little after quite a chilly start to the week. Sunshine for Madrid, we should see plenty of fine weather, I think in Rome as well, once that low pulls away. For Moscow though, the showers arriving. Hello, Hurricane Rosa has been churning away off the western coast of Mexico in the last few days. Now downgraded to a tropical storm, it's pushing in to the north of Baja California, bringing some heavy rain. Also, they're pushing that rain into the desert southwest of the US, parts of the Great Basin and the Rockies. And we could sit to six inches of rain for some areas out of this system in the next 48 hours or so. Arizona looking like it could see some flash flooding. Meanwhile, this area of showers here heading towards the Midwest looks very potent for Monday, again with the risk of some flooding, some pretty big hailstones, maybe even some tornadoes. Moving further north into Canada, and it's all about the cold air plunging south across the prairies into the Rockies at the moment. Temperatures will be above average here by maybe 10 degrees in the next few days, and we could see some of the season's first significant snowfall. In terms of the outlook, uh, one or two showers for Vancouver, maybe Seattle as well on Tuesday. We should see some sunshine by Wednesday, but you can see the temperatures just edging down here. There are those heavy showers heading up towards the Great Lakes for Monday, perhaps a few extending across towards the East Coast. New York remaining fine at this stage, plenty of sunshine all the way down into the Carolinas and Georgia also for Florida. But in terms of the outlook, we will see that rain just sliding through New York briefly on Tuesday. The sun back with us on Wednesday, a high here of 25 degrees Celsius. Hello, northern Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay and southeastern Brazil have all seen some quite significant heat recently. All changed now though as a cold weather front tries to push up from the south, eventually taking those temperatures down. But before that, the battle between the hot and the cold air will manifest some pretty intense thunderstorms, maybe even with the risk of some localised flooding. Just 14 there in Buenos Aires as we move into the colder air on Monday. Further north, still plenty of showers to be found across Venezuela and Colombia. Clearer skies along the northern and much of the eastern coast of Brazil, but I think those showers getting into Rio de Janeiro later on in the day. Clearer skies for Florianopolis and Buenos Aires will get some sunshine behind that weather front, but it will feel chilly here. And also to the south, some significant snow possible even to lower levels across Chile in the next few days as colder air works its way in from the south. Buenos Aires starting to see temperatures recovering though as the week goes on. Further north across Mexico, some scattered showers, but our most intense rain in this region I think will be across Costa Rica once again, but also affecting Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Some fairly hefty showers possible here on Monday, rather more in the way of sunshine further north I think for Cuba. Havana though uh, could pick up a few showers from time to time in the next few days. Hello. We may only have just gotten rid of Changmi from Japan, allowing some quieter weather here for the start of the week. But your eyes do not deceive you. There is another great big typhoon here swirling away in the Pacific. This is Kong Ray. We're going to keep a close eye on this as the week ahead pans out. It looks like it could arc towards eastern China later on in the week. For Japan, though, Tuesday does offer some quieter weather, albeit quite windy to the north of the country. Some sunshine for South Korea and much of eastern China. Some thicker cloud as we swing across towards the west, some heftier showers to be found once again across Myanmar, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia 
and extending in to northern Indonesia. Here's the outlook for the coming days. As you can see, things do become increasingly unsettled across Japan again later on in the week. Beijing keeps its sunshine, but temperatures will slide away. And we'll be keeping a close eye on Conray for you. For Australia, a lot of fine weather around on Tuesday, aside from a few showers in the southwest. Some warmth building, I think, in the southeast in the next few days. New Zealand, having seen some quite heavy rain across the North Island on Monday, should have some drier and brighter prospects on Tuesday, but still some weather fronts. You can see one here marked by this band of cloud swinging in from the south. So there will be a little bit more cloud around at times and perhaps the odd isolated shower, but generally a fine outlook for much of New Zealand in the next couple of days. Hello. The monsoon continues to retreat across India, but there are still some very heavy showers to come in the forecast for southernmost regions of the country in the next couple of days. Also for Sri Lanka and the Maldives, you can see plenty of cloud here on the satellite picture just recently. And overnight Monday into Tuesday, the heavy rains will persist. Some really intense downpours, I think, for Sri Lanka, maybe even a little bit of flash flooding out of those showers, for example in Mali. Tuesday perhaps we'll see the showers uh, thin out briefly first thing but with the heat of the day they will intensify once again. Let's head further north now towards Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan. Really clear skies right the way across this region. A lot of fine weather, some quite chilly nights in the north but still plenty of warm sunshine available by day. A few showers here further north into India on Tuesday but again the real emphasis on that heavier rain will sit further south where there could be a little bit of flooding. For the northeast, clearer skies, sunshine there extending all the way up into Nepal 29, the Kathmandu. And here's your outlook for the coming days from Mumbai, for Dhaka and Islamabad, we should see plenty more sunshine. Colombo though, never very far away from those showers, although there will be some drier spells in between times. Temperatures coming down in Tashkent in the next few days, Karachi and Delhi holding fairly steady. Hello. Looking at the African continent, it's not unusual for us to see the bulk of our activity on the satellite picture through the equatorial belt. Some pretty heavy rain for the Central African Republic recently and around the Gulf of Guinea. But we're going to see more action to the far north and south of the country in the next couple of days. Some showers arriving into northern Algeria, courtesy of a low in the Med. Weather fronts clipping into South Africa on Tuesday, introducing more cloud and perhaps some significant rain for a time. The biggest change, though, is likely to be cooler air getting pulled in behind that front. 30 there in Joburg on Tuesday. But take a look at the outlook and we're down at just 15 degrees with some showers by Thursday. Temperatures recovering, though, for Cape Town up close to 30 by Friday and Saturday as that front pulls away. For Khartoum, more sunshine. Similar story for Casablanca. One or two showers possible in Kinshasa. Moving now to the Middle East, faultless blue skies, scorching sunshine, but in particular of note at the moment is the heat. Obviously it's always hot in this part of the world, but we are looking at temperatures perhaps four or five degrees above average typically across Iraq, parts of Saudi Arabia for the next few days. We're looking at temperatures I think generally in to the low 40s for the likes of Riyadh and certainly for Kuwait, 43 possible by Wednesday as you can see faultless sunshine to be found here in our outlook.